Adventure app. I miss you guys. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've been thinking a lot about Plant Club and how it's Thursday and I really wish that I was at Cupid Heights doing it with you. But in place of that, um, I have my plants here at my apartment and I thought I'd show them to you. Um, the Plant Club plants are with Leah and I think Gina as well right now. Um, so I can't show you them. You can't say hi to them today, unfortunately. But I can show you mine, which you've never seen before. So I thought that would be a good replacement. Um, I thought I'd show you today my bunny ear cactus. Um, because we're getting closer to Easter, I thought it'd be really cool to show you this guy. And some fun facts that I learned about him today, which are that he is um, called the bunny ear cactus because if you kind of look, these kind of look like bunny ears in a way. Kind of like those are bunny ears, sort of. And he also has a few other names like the angel wing cactus or the bunny cactus or the polka dot cactus. Um, he's also a cousin of the prickly pear cactus. Um, he gets his name from its appearance because it looks like bunny ears. Um, its scientific name is a Opuntia microdasis, which I tried really hard not to mess that up, but I might have. Um, it grows naturally in really dry areas of Mexico uh, and lots of sun. It, it loves lots of sun. Um, and something really cool about this guy is it doesn't grow what's called spines, which are um, these guys on this guy. So those are spines, if it'll focus. That's what a spine is, is those little pokey get guys. It's, um, it grows what are called glochids. So those little itty bitties right there are called glochids and they're just little, little tufts of like prickly bits. Anyway, that is all for the bunny ear cactus. Um, I hope that you learned something new. I hope you had fun. Um, I hope you guys are all healthy and washing your hands and I'll see you next week. Bye.